Hello everyone and welcome. So we are going to go ahead and continue where we left off yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to the crew, see what they have to say. Uh, hey Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. Okay, I guess that's it. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Alright. So we have, uh... We have Rex, Garrus, we have Liara, and, um... Caden. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't think of it. <laughs> Tali, that's her name. Hey, we got we got them left to check. All right. Oh, right. We can do this one. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, looking for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. After action debriefs, what we found out about Sovereign. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. So, uh, the, the Varus guy, that's the, uh, the Turian that they brought in to basically train the kids in, like, how to use their biotics or whatever, because they, they needed, like, another... They needed a teacher that could teach them how to use the biotics, and the only options they had were the Asari and, like, the Turians. Um, so he was the one who they brought him in and they said that he could like basically do whatever he needed to, to get them trained, even if it meant breaking them. So, uh, yeah, Caden doesn't like that guy. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt a girl, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, he kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. But at 17, that's something. Tapping that deep must have shocked the hell out of you. Not as much as it shocked Vernus. It killed him snapped his neck they probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough but they didn't caused a stir when they shipped him home bot training was shut down kinetics folded a couple of years later so yeah maybe i hated that Turian. i mean if one ass was enough to judge a whole race i'd hate humans too a reasonable stance keep that level head and we'll do fine staying reasonable is about all we've got left Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Uh, this way. <laughs> I gotta remember how to get around the ship. <laughs> oh yeah, we can still talk to Caden. I'll go back to him after this. Because we can check Commander, for like like a, a mission follow-up. Are you follow coming up. to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Uh, let's talk. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? Uh... 
I have nightmares. Why? What do you mean? You need to take care of yourself, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command. But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Uh, no, that's it. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Alright, come back for you, Caden. I don't know why I keep feeling like there's supposed to be a window there. <laughs> this is always Anything so awkward. You need, <laughs> What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. Uh, we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. All right, I guess that was it. Commander. The next we have. Go down here. Oh, <laughs> that shadow. <laughs> I was like, what was that? I thought I saw something. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. What do you got? Looking for supplies? Because we, we bought a license from that, um, the Solarian on Pharos, didn't we? I can investigate. Licenses. What are licenses? Oh, no, no, Why no, do you no, need manufacturer. Oh, no, no, I, no, I didn't mean to do that. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Ooh, a bunch of tens. Boklov, Hurricane, Avenger, Guardian, Guardian. Guardian 10. Oh, but my... My mercenary seven is still better though. Like I, I get an extra, f well, I get an extra four damage protection. I just lose out on three shields, but my damage protection and my tech biotic protection is better. So why would I lose that just for three extra points in shield? I'm not gonna. No. Uh, Phoenix. Light Armor Human, Phoenix 10. That's worse, too. Uh, heck is this? HMWSR7. The details. A prototype sniper rifle only available to specters. Its accuracy and damage are unmatched. What do you mean? Well, that's not, that's not that much. 37, 193. Okay, what's this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. 320. No, no, no. We've been through this before. Right? What Wasn't the faster one? Wasn't that... Didn't that give me a higher damage per second? Oh my goodness. Prototype shotgun only available to specters. Its accuracy and damage are unmatched. Ah, uh, like okay, assault rifle. Three hundred thirty-six. What is this one? Same thing. I'm looking for like like what what is it? What does it do? Oh, it's got three slots. Okay. Oh man, how much are these? 230,000, 257,000, 294, 300,000 basically, 138,000. What's this one? This one's like the exact same, but with less heat sink. Ah, okay, oh, you know, we'll, we'll just buy it. We'll, we have the money, we'll buy it. All right, heavy armor human. Light armor, human scorpion for that's not going to be good. No, it's not. Okay, okay, I guess that's it. All right. Um, where is it? 
Uh, seven. Okay, it's sevens. Oh, that looks so much better, though. Can I see more details here? Ooh, a prototype assault rifle only available... It's the same description. <laughs> Master Spectre gear consists of prototype technology not yet available through other manufacturers. Uh, how does it shoot? Oh, wait, I can just test it out here on the ship. Okay. Um, seven, seven, seven. There we go. Uh, where's this? Seven. And a sniper. Yes, move everything over. Alright. Oh, I can't do it here on the ship. <laughs> Dang it. How do I test it out? What do you gotta say, Garrus? Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Oh, he means like... He means like they bring him in, they're like, oh, you, you've been a bad boy. <laughs> bad boy, you're going to timeout. <laughs> oh, no. They, they, they want him to be like the Joker or something in Batman. Like, he does all this horrible stuff, but they just, uh... It's like, no, nah, no, nah, you just go sit and time out for a little while. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason... If he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Well, I was actually just thinking... If Saren has the ability... Unless he was making use of, like, the spores from the plant or something... If Saren has the ability to mind control then he could get out. Like, like, even if they arrest him, he just, I don't know, mind control the guards or mind control the council. I mean, that's probably how he was doing it, but, well, no, he wasn't there in person, though. Unless they've already been, like, indoctrinated at some point in time, you know? I don't know. Oh, that is something to think about. Oh, my goodness. What if they're all under his mind control? Oh, that's something to think about. Oh, man. <laughs> we know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Rex. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. All right. Like? <laughs> go here, go Such on. As. <laughs> Such as? I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, 
and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. You know, I was just thinking. I like how the different races actually look different here in Mass Effect. That's what I want them to do with the Elder Scrolls. Now that I think about it, like I want the Khajiit, I want the Argonians, I want like the orcs and stuff to like actually look, you know, like different. <laughs> you know, like like not just have the same body type and the only difference is that uh wood elves are shorter and high elves are taller. That's but it's like the exact same. I don't know. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted how him to he stop looks. leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? <laughs> I've got some unfinished <laughs> business with my family. But that's all. <laughs> Come on, Rex. <laughs> you trying to make me cry. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, go on. <laughs> what kind of business? Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Alright, what about this armor, Gone? What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now it's in the hands of Ton Actus. Are we gonna get like scum like who collects relics from character the war. exclusive equipment He's or made something? Millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. Shepard. Can I get that for like everyone or? 
Oh, we already did his mission. With, like, the butcher guy. We didn't get anything from that, did we? Like, like we didn't get anything special, I don't think. Uh, it's just Tali left. We'll go talk to her. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. Operating on their own. Are the... Are the... Are the Geth working with Saren, or like... I mean, ever since they brought up the whole mind control thing, and then now you got like the whole plant thing from Pharos. Can you mind control the Geth, though? Aren't they like synthetic? S synthetic organic, somehow they made an organic synthetic thingy or whatever. I don't know. Oh, Tali's What father. was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. 
Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I mean, wasn't that the same thing she was just saying? Like, she was saying that, like, maybe he was weighed down by all the responsibility. But she was just saying that before about how, like, she's like, I can't return to the to the flotilla without, you know, like, something special. And I think it was like, she thinks she needs to bring something more special than what everyone else does or else she said it feels like she's failed or something. And she said it's because, you know, since her father's in that position, people expect a lot out of her. So she thinks that she has to. So she's, like, doing the same thing that, that her dad had to go through. You know, maybe the responsibility is weighing down on him. Uh, let's change topics. I want to talk about something else. Like what? So I, I guess that was it. <laughs> I should go. See you later. Alright, so what do we got? Okay, so we got Rex's family armor. I'm gonna go do this. Uh, oh. Uh, after talking with Rex, you learn that he's looking for his family's ceremonial armor. It was taken by the Turians after the Krogan Rebellion, and now a profiteer named Ton Act is head. Find the Turian who stole Rex's family armor. He's hiding at a base somewhere in the Argus Row cluster. Argus Row. Argus Row. Uh, we got a Citadel mission here. Uh, we got another one. Oh, we could go talk to the fan again. <laughs> um, missions. Okay. So we can go check on Rex's. Get, like, his family armor back. And then we can head to, like, the Citadel. Oh, let's head up here. Oh. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to figure out the layout of the ship. <laughs> okay. Argus Row. Argus Row. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. <laughs> I, I want the it. Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Wait. Oh! <laughs> no! I want to go get Rex's armor! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Patrols? You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy? What, what, what is that? 
he was just able to operate before, like without being detected. Does not mean like he can't operate now? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit oh, is. See? <laughs> Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. My goodness. It's like they don't learn. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, I don't. Yeah, no, you don't. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. What the heck? Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Oh, I forgot all about him. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I completely forgot all about him. Are you spying on me, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Hmm. I'm liking having Caden on the team. I like how his little his little story about his biotic kick made him seem like superhuman. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. Who are you? The <laughs> officer <What>? is ashore. <laughs> Exo Presley has the deck. Who is this? <laughs> Wait. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Wait a minute. Hey, whoa. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Oh, they won't let me back Ambassador on this ship. Udina gave the order. I'm just stuck on the Citadel. Oh. Squad. What, what do we got? Oh, we got talent points. I haven't used Holly in so long. She's probably got like 30 points saved up or something. Uh, We don't need helmets. We're on the Citadel. Alright, so the Flux. Uh, the Flux located... Hearing about the Protheans makes me wonder if some distant civilization is going to find our artifacts someday and study us. All empires fall, Lieutenant. We can only hope that what we leave behind inspires respect and admiration. So it's the we're in the wards. The flux. We can actually just go there. Hold on. We can take the elevators. See if they got anything on the radios. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Mm, 
Um, so we have like the fan. We can go talk to the fan. And then the flux should be right up there. Excuse me. You're the specter, right? Uh, hi. Ooh, ah, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to. <laughs> I tried to left click to talk to him. <laughs> Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Appeasers? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. He... If he just said, if they're allowed to express their their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't they? Like, is he trying to like start a, like another fight or something? What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. I thought he said influencers, it's and I was theory, like, no, I, I'm, I'm behind him now. These people sound like a <laughs> racial issue. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views. But our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. Um, the support of the first human specter would be invaluable. No. <laughs> we, we, we gotta work with them. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Remember at least Shanxi! that ended... Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, at least, at least, uh, that ended peacefully. <laughs> it wasn't like, like, you're an enemy, now you're an enemy of me. Or whatever, like, if you're not with us, you're against us, or whatever. So, this is what I was talking about. When I was talking about when, um... They're not gonna... Quiet down! <laughs> Dang it. When I was talking about when Garrus was, uh, Garrus was talking about how when he was looking for, like, the, the, the butcher or whatever, the doctor that was harvesting organs from people, how they had him at the docks and he wanted them to shoot down his ship. And they were like, these got hostages on board and we got, like, you know, that can cause a lot more damage. This is what I was agreeing with because, like, I mean, look at all these, like, cars and stuff flying by and we've seen a ship float. Wait, these cars are inside. What the heck? 
I thought they were outside the window this whole time. <laughs> We've seen like a ship flying around out there before. If they shot down the ship, each of these like five posts and stuff, like they they have cities on them. So like the, the debris could, you know, shoot out, fall down and crash down into the city. Even the ship itself could crash down into the city. And that would hit like far more people just trying to stop one person. I don't know. If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the Flux. Let's go talk to the fan first. We bleed red. Throw the appeasers out. Aliens off Earth. I like how they're going to the Citadel, that just has all these other alien races, and they're going here to like you know scream about how they don't like the other races. Oh, sure, I can return that for you. Oh, no. Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Here you go. Your account will be credited. <laughs> you did! You took his return! Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. This guy's still trying to get his refund. <laughs> Like my favorite little like side story going on here. Oh, he's giving him a death stare. He's like, oh no. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there he is. A uh, commander. I've been waiting for you to get back. Oh. <laughs> I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I've got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? <laughs> no, Conrad. <laughs> Conrad, no. Oh man. <laughs> this is like this is like the fan that's like uh like <laughs> You should let me in on your movie with you or whatever. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Conrad, Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be <laughs> right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. It's exactly like that. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. But here's a test. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you, too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Hi, Conrad. <laughs> Has he just been... living here this whole time? Did he say, do they live on the Citadel or I'm trying to think, did he say that he like lives off the Citadel or something? Has he just been here of like avoiding his wife this whole, this whole time? He's like, oh, the sh Shepard's here. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go where Shepard is. We got that Solarian there. Uh, pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? Who are you? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. Oh, I've no. purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Oh, no. <laughs> that, 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 that is addict talk. <laughs> they won't let me buy it. What is that? What was that? 
what was that screen? What was that? What was that blue thing? <laughs> what just happened? What is this stimulant exactly? There oh, is I again. don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. This, this is sounding like an addict, yeah. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Yeah, this guy's not gaining my vote. <laughs> it's, it's like the more you talk to him, you're like, uh, I don't, I don't know. He had something at first, and then he like basically gave himself away. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent or just inexperienced? Worse, he's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Yeah, you're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. <laughs> the bargaining. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over what the legal is this limit, box? Keeler. Maybe you're right. What is I've that? been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After oh, this no. deal is finished, I'll get treatment. It's the last time, guys. It's the last time, and that, it, this is it. <laughs> no trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I, I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. See, now he was sounding kind of normal at the end when he was like all disappointed. I I like that they made him look like he was talking fast, like he was he was on it. <laughs> he was on the drug then. Did he say why? No, he kind of skirted the issue. It's those damn humans, if you ask me. She's kind of on beat. Regroup. <laughs> I thought I could crouch walk. <laughs> I like how the dudes are just doing this little shimmy. Like, like the girls are just, they're over here like swirling and, and swaying and stuff. And they're just like, yeah, a little, <laughs> they're doing the same dance. <laughs> and I was doing it too. <laughs> This is ridiculous. All right, uh, there he is. There's Anderson. I'm glad you came, son. I heard what happened. That's weird. He's not wearing a suit anymore. He got like super demoted. What the heck? They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know. I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. 
humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. I want to see him fight. <laughs> I want to see I want to see Anderson fight. You're going to get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Is someone choking in the background? I keep hearing like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. The ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Do I have anything left? I already talked to the fan, and the only other thing was the uh, the gambler. I'm not gonna do his. No, I think I'm. I think I'm good. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck? bump bump it bump. <laughs> Okay, um, the wards, uh, Cora's Den, that's what it was called, I didn't know what the other, what the other pub was called, uh, Med Clinic, Markets, c sec, c -Sec. all right. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Aw. Uh, Garrus has like little knee pads. <laughs> I was just looking at those. Whoa, the heck? Normandy weapons inspect. Added to the codex. What are the weapons? Is that those things down there? I've heard that crane noise in, uh, I think Mario 64. With, like, the little, uh, cannon thing that you can launch yourself into. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send- <clears throat> Ooh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Yeah, see, that's all city. <laughs> Go, Anderson. <laughs> Now, now we're out here. 
Uh, we can go look for Rex's. I want to go get Rex's armor before we take on Saren. I'm going to go ahead and save. Alright. So. Uh, Citadel. I can't land there, I bet. Because they don't want me going back for the story reasons. Okay. Um, Argus Row Cluster. Argus Row. Argus Row. Novaria. There's Ilos. Oh, they're adding stuff, I think. That wasn't there before. I don't know if that one was there before. Argus Row. Uh, it's just the... Oh, there's two systems. Phoenix and Hydra. Let's look at Hydra first, then. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you were in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the Last job time done. you sent me in, I got ambushed. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Again? We already did this. Well... So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. Okay, so Thanar... Nope. Uh, Varmalus? Nope. Metgos. Oh, we can land here. Uh, Metgos. Is this is this the one? Hold on. Let's let's go check. So we're in the Argus Row cluster. What mission is this? Uh, UNC besieged base. Locate signs of battle. Okay, that's the collectathon. These are all collectathons. Okay. What is this? Investigate samples. While on Pharos, you found the personal log of Exogeny employee. Uh, the doctor's note seems to express some concern about samples they provided to a group he referred to only as Cerberus. The logs mentioned something about the Matano system in the Maroon Sea cluster. That would be a good place to start your investigation investigate facility you found a confidential transmission while on pharos it's unclear exactly what's going on but it appears exogeni sent some kind of sample to a research facility on notacrux is this the same thing facility no notacrux is noted in the in the vostok system and the maroon sea cluster head there and find out what's going on. so they're both in the maroon sea cluster this one's giving me a system and a planet. What about this one? Mentioned something about the Mitano system. Okay, different system. And they're in, in the same C cluster. Okay, well, those are there. Uh, besieged base. Yeah. Besieged base. Biotic fanatics have taken over medical station and drugged innocent researchers to serve as human shields. You must eliminate the biotics while minimizing innocent casualties. Okay, where? Go to the medical base on Koei, located in the in the Kaka system of the Hades Gamma Cluster, and eliminate the biotics while avoiding civilian casualties. Okay, so this is in a different system. He was just giving me a, a general message. He's hiding in a base somewhere. Okay, so this is the right planet then, I assume, for uh, for Rex's family armor. Uh, Metgos. Okay, you're coming, Rex. Uh, Polly needs some... She needs her equipment up. 
I like that they keep showing Ashley. She's all grayed out. Squad. I need a helmet. Ooh, helmet. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, you don't need a helmet. We can't hide that. There we go. Um. Alright, just wondering. She got 19 points. Auto level up. Okay, she does pistols and shotguns. Okay. Oh. Look at the map first. Where am I? I'm right here. So, survey thorium deposit, transponder signal, escape pod, Turian wreckage. And then we'll go to the escape pod. Go counterclockwise. Oh, I did take some damage from that. Keep going. Okay, I gotta go at an angle. Always go at an angle. Ah, not enough of an angle. This is not helping. <laughs> there we go. Ah! <laughs> I'm glad this vehicle seems like magnetic. <laughs> Because that, I would, I would not have gone back towards this ledge I'm trying to get around. I cannot get around this ledge. Too steep. Ugh. All right. Can I, where, where's the map? Oh, I can just go around. I'm making it difficult for no reason. Yeah, I could just. Okay. All right. <laughs> I took some more damage. Look like my health went up. <laughs> Did I heal myself? Okay. So what's going on here? Cover me. From what? Level two hazard. I'm here, right? What the? What? What am I doing wrong? What's going on? Oh. Well, why can't I search him? What the heck? Ah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking damage. Get back in the ship. Was I not supposed to come here? I can't do anything. Oh, these are already X'd off. I've already gotten these. That's why. This is a planet I've already been to. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one. Where there was the, the thing I couldn't hack. This isn't the right one. Okay, I guess we're going this way then. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a mineral deposit or a gas deposit up here. There 
it is. Wait, no, I can't see it. There it is. Oh, I already got it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I already got this. I still didn't get to try out my weapons yet. Wait a minute, we done this one too. This isn't the right place. Aw. This is where I got ambushed before. All right, let's not go to the Normandy yet. I wanna get out of here and try out the new weapon. Okay, this is a sniper. Okay, it's single shot. Uh, what's next? Pistol. Pretty quick. Um, shotgun. Okay. I'm gonna hop back in really quick. That's why I do a No Man's Sky. <laughs> okay, now what's the assault rifle? Oh, it's automatic, but it's... Pretty accurate too. Okay, so we've already done all this. That's not the right planet then. Argus Row Cluster. So it's not here. Not there. Probably the other system. Varmalus. Sibba. Okay, well, let's try this one. Okay, Atashi. Uh, sun blasted terrestrial world. What the heck? <laughs> sun blasted. Whose atmosphere was blasted away millennia ago by the star phoenix. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of tin. Go ahead and survey. Oh, I didn't even read it. Dang it. Okay. Uh, Tontau. Oh, we can land. An enormous low-density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium, despite being early 2D AU from Phoenix. Star's great heat and the insulating thickness of the atmosphere make the surface surprisingly temperate. It's like ice. And uh, not really. I don't know if that's ice or not. Let's go ahead and land. All right, I'm just bringing Rex along until we find the right place. Rex, we already got Tolly. Uh, put you back on. You probably got some points. Yes. It looks kind of snowy. Let's go ahead and see. So, hidden structure, an anomaly, and some debris. Let's head this way, that way we're not trying to get around the mountain. Or if, I'll look at the mountain. If it's something I can, oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a low part over here. We can try. Or is that off the map? That might be off map. Mm. I, it's within the bounds. Just barely though. Alright. Oh, anomaly. That's a worm. There's a, I, I see it. What is that? Looks like a vehicle. Oh, there's a pyramid. Why is there a pyramid on this planet? Let's go ahead and save.
Alright, I'm ready. A sorry capsule. Okay, Matriarch's writings recovered. You found one of Matriarch Dillanaga's writings on this body. It's possible the writings came from the nearby ruins. That's strange. And it's made out of metal, too. Wait. Was that one of these guys? Or... Okay, it was one of these guys. Um... Squad. She's got eight points. There we go. So either humans made that or some other structure or some other alien uh, race was making like the same structure that humans made. Okay. Alright, there's a mineral deposit. Mercury. Okay, heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a large deposit of mercury. 44,000. Okay, that's where I am. And this is where I'm going. Okay. Ooh. All right, crashed probe. Oh my goodness. Okay, combat exoskeleton 10, high explosive rounds 9, and kinetic exoskeleton 9. Alright, so now, head down here. there's a way to like upgrade the, the vehicle I don't think so we're this far in the game and it hasn't said anything about it I'm just thinking about whenever we are fighting those like thresher things or whatever they just though it one shot me once whenever it burrowed underneath me and then just hit me so I didn't know if there was a way for me I mean I guess I, I guess there that should kind of just be like a one hit you got like this giant worm and it catches your, your vehicle. It's not like you're going to get away from it. Oh, is that it? Yep. Something up on top of there. There's some people up there too. Oh, it was just a peak.
Ooh, no, 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 no. Jeez. I think that was partly Rex just hitting him with the explosive rounds. All right, let's go ahead and save. Oh, I can't save. It's over now. Oh, maybe now I can't. Oh, it's too late. All right, save. Uh, Barros. Normandy, Barros. Okay. This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. How do you somewhere. know? You like smell it or something? What's going on? Okay. So we're dealing with organics. That's probably from that one dude that was out there. Or the two dudes. What do I have here? Shredder rounds. Okay. Kill them all. Now it's fun. Oh, everyone got lifted. Oh, because she uses she used her singularity. I didn't realize it would lift everyone. It's like a massive AoE. Ah! <laughs> I don't think this is doing too well. Ooh, I'm getting out. I mean, it's it's okay. I'm swapping to the shotgun. We're gonna see how this one works. <laughs> Dude, that's how it should always be. That guy's kind of tough. Oh, that's Ton Actus. That's the boss guy. Go, go, go! Oh, good job, guys. Oh, my goodness, this poor guy. Negative All right. contact, Shepard. So is this down here? Is this a room? This is a room. Uh, medical kit. Malfunctioning object. Combat exoskeleton. Uh, tungsten rounds. Sledgehammer rounds. Great. Banshee thunder. Okay, here we go. Go, go, go. Ah! Okay, okay, we're trying again. Okay, this is better. I got more room. That's okay, that was way easier. Armageddon 9, Avalanche 9. Avalanche is good. Uh, Naginata 8. Okay, so upstairs. I know there was something upstairs, but I think it was just one of the explosive canisters that you could like shoot or something. Fuel tank. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, where's the fuel tank? Just, does it mean these? Oh. Okay. I hope it doesn't do like a chain reaction. Oh, it kind of did. Okay. Technician kit, fusion explosive nine, high explosive nine. Oh, got some stuff here. Heavy armor human. I, I can't use that though. Take all. So grenade. High explosive. Fusion explosive. Toxin damage. The extra damage, extra weapons force, and a bigger radius. Let's do the toxin damage though. Upgrade kit. Proton rounds. Sledgehammer rounds. 
Uh, medical kit, upgrade kit, sledgehammer rounds, snow blind rounds. Got a bunch of stuff in here. Gemini amp, unity amp. Oh, they had two med things right next to each other. Okay, here we go. This one said easy, right? Oh, definitely. Proton rounds, combat optics. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of <laughs> crap, but at least I've got it back. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression? Thoughtful, perhaps? Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement. And grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. What do we get? Come on, Rex. Show us. Show us what you got. That's not it. Wait a minute. No. I thought I was getting ar <laughs> Do I got to head back to the ship or something? Dang it. Hold on. Well, I don't have like an inventory. Ah. Perry and Krogan. No. I did all that thinking I was getting some special armor. Why do I still have an exclamation point there? Alright, let's head back. Okay. So now we also have some scientists to save. Go to journal. Sovereign. Family armor. Rex is very happy that you recovered his armor. Apparently it's not very good, but it does have sentimental value. Well. Sentimental for a Krogan. Okay. So, journal, besieged base. Um, located in the, in the Kaka system, Hades Gamma Cluster, and eliminate the biotics while avoiding civilian casualties. Okay. Uh, let's see this again. Get to the medical base on Chloe and located in the... Okay, so the planet is Koe. Aka system, Hades Gammas. Gamma. Aka, okay. Hades Gamma. Just checking if there is anything extra. Uh, light metal. Okay. Hades Gamma. Kaka system. And then it was... Kawe, Kahe. Chahe. Something. Koe. surface is mainly composed of aluminum. N numerous deposits of calcium, though it is enough mass to retain a dense atmosphere. It's nearly a vacuum. Lack of atmosphere allows a moderate average temperature, but the differences between day and night are extreme. Okay. Alright. I, I just keep throwing Rex on this team because he's got the shotgun. I don't know anyone else that uses the shotgun.
This looks like the other planet. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. Um. Debris, science base. Okay, this one's close. And then we'll head to the debris. This way. going on here lock crate stiletto striker and phoenix matriarch's writings recovered while shifting through this pile of debris you discovered another matriarch de Lanaga's writings it's in bad shape most of it's still intact transmitter close to a transmitter your comms pick up a recording of a wristful string quartet you power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered with Koei's chalky dust. Oh, so it's not snow. And the status lights of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out long ago. Okay. Combat optics, medical exoskeleton. Equipment. Where are you, Rex? What is this? Shield regenerator. Why do you have that on? Um, smash damage. Sure. All right. Red rounds and scram rail nine. Oh, more writings. Okay. So next is this debris, all the way on the opposite end. Okay. I was just wondering if I could. <laughs> as soon as I got in the vehicle and I could shoot, I saw the little marker on it. What do you guys think? I don't know, that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> oh wait, it's not even near the destination. So I think we're good, probably. Oh no! Okay. What is this? Just a container? Crashed probe. High explosive rounds and high explosive. Okay. Next, the science base. 
Why is the science base X'd out? I haven't been there yet. Is it out here? Oops. Hmm. I think we're gonna get a worm or something. Yep. Just in time. Oh, it's still coming after me. I thought it would stop, you know, like once I got the last tendril. Oh, there are more. I see them. Oh, that was close. Unless I'm boosting, it's faster than the vehicle. My goodness, I didn't even realize. Look at my vehicle. What happened to it? How do I repair? Was it R? R? It was R for repair. It's not confused. Is Hackett, like, trying to assassinate me or something? Is what part of that had anything to do with a, uh... Like, like, his information is really bad multiple times. The last two times he sent me somewhere, it was, like, not what was actually there. By Adifanax had taken over a medical station and drugged innocent research to service human... What? Th no. Get to the medical base on Koei, located in the cactus system, and eliminate the biotics while avoiding civilian casualties. Where? <laughs> Destination. There you go. I'm on Koei. Where's the medical facility? Uh, do you guys see it? <laughs> That's the salvager camp. Um. Oh. I didn't even go there yet. That's why. <laughs> I just saw an X on the map and I thought it was the thing. I see it now. On my way. All right. Does um, Caden's armor have like an eye on it? L like a singular eye in the center? Oh no, it's just really close, and from that angle, it looked like yeah, like a singular eye. I think that would have looked cool if it just had a singular eye. 
like just right in the center of the helmet. Uh, take down the terrorists, but remember to check your targets. Civilians are so addled by the drug, they'll wander right into the middle of the firefight. Oh, no. Okay, so I don't think... I'm swapping back to this. All right. Um, oh, the explosive stuff. I feel like I'm going to have to take this off. We'll, we'll try it. But I feel like I might have to take it off of Rex for now. So Rex, I'm sorry. You're kind of a loose cannon with this. So I'm just going to... Oh, and get, we'll give you a better one when, when we're done. Okay, we'll give you an even better one. Weapons, force, and toxic damage. All right, how about that? See, a little bit of green that makes it look so much better. Currently have 251, oh no. I gotta start selling stuff again. Insane scientist. Enemy sighted. Stop it! Move Rex! It's all spinning away! I'm on it! Ah! Help! Hey, hey! Who did that? Take cover! I hope he's just knocked down. I will destroy you! And not dead. Where is he now? Go, go, ah. go! Got to make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay. So that's not working. Switch careers? Oh, does each character have their own separate... Oh, crap. Uh... Okay, okay. I didn't know that there were different save files. That's good. Alright. Where am I gonna save them? <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're going in. Take down the terrace. Ooh, I have a plan. So equipment. Um, and go back to Rex, take his off. Blood chamber rounds. Okay. I'm gonna try and like stasis them so that way they can't be hit by anyone. Right? Who else has stasis? Rex has stasis. Like right, shift, not tap. So, barrier. Okay, so I have stasis. Caden has stasis. And Rex has stasis. Okay, so we all have stasis. So we're gonna we're gonna go through this. We're gonna try and stasis the the guys we don't want to hit. There we go. Oh, I forgot. I was changing. I forgot. Equip. Okay. No! They're hitting the... 
They're hitting the researchers too. Oh, I'm, I'm about to die. That's not helpful. I think, I think we lost. How do I do that? If I come out here, they'll shoot them too. I can't like, I can't do this stealthily. Okay. Stasis you. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Civilian losses were tolerable. Evolution of humanity, huh? Those biotics didn't seem that different from the other scum we deal with. How am I supposed to, like, save anyone? I, I only saved one. Like, that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> okay. All right, Rex, we're going to put your stuff back on. You're going to get an even better one. There you go. Anything extra? Oh, yeah, there's some stuff in here. Okay, scram rail. Don't need those. Something over here, too, I think. Nope. Oh, there's another one. Okay, one of them, two of them made it. Crossfire X. Crossfire is the other automatic or semi automatic one, right? It's got better everything. Yeah, it's Crossfire and the Thunder. I think it's got a little bit more spread to it, though, so it's not as accurate as the Thunder, I don't think. Fire in the hole! Ah! No, no, no. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't go off. <laughs> he accidentally threw a grenade. The only two scientists survived. Oh, well, that's better than, than zero, right? I think I would have still ended up with the two in the last one as well. The last uh, save. It's just music. It's like combat music. Alright, so let's exit. Message coming in. Patching it through. Tried my Good best. Work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. Did what I could. I'm sorry we lost some of the researchers, Admiral. The biotics knew what they were doing. Nobody could have gotten out of there with fewer innocent lives lost. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Alright. Let's go check the other plant, see if I can... 
get anything out of him. Nope. Damari. Baringor. Rare element, polonium. Nothing. And heavy metal. It's got some mercury. Okay. I don't really think there's anything else other than searching for the missing... They were both on the same planet, right? Um, the, like, the research materials. Maroon. Maroon Sea. I remember that. Maroon Sea... Matano. Alright, so there's Inti, nothing there. Supe, uh, that's what happens when you sue, they pay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll see myself out. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Lapa. Ooh, that one's all red. Ilapa is a hydrogen helium gas giant with an unusual ruby color caused by contaminants in the atmosphere. Oh. The, the world has over 120 moons, one of the highest totals of all known systems. Once full development of Chaska Colony begins, a helium V3 refining infrastructure will be developed in the Ilapa system. Concentrate on the large ice moon of Kony Raya. Unknown. Metallic asteroid. Chaska and Oppo. A Chaska is large but low density world. Fundamentally similar to its inner neighbor, NT. Like NT, Chaska is tidally locked in Matano, the same side always faces the sun, resulting in a scorching day and frozen night side. Did we already do this one before? Chaska's ring is unique. It appears to be, for lack of a better term, a massive piece of alien installation art. I think this is different. The rings are made of small pieces from synthetic material and are almost invisible from space. But from the ground, they catch and scatter the light of Matano in picturesque ways. It is not known who created the ring or red when. So let's go check this little metallic asteroid. Oh, I, I just survey it. Okay. Platinum. Chaska. Go ahead and land. This, so this is one of the research things. Okay. Put Garrus back on the team. Maybe if I had used Liara and used her like gravity warp thing, I could have froze everyone at least and then we would only target the the um the pirate guys so let's go to journal risk and sovereign investigate okay so this is the one matano system and the maroon sea cluster okay so that's the one i'm at now and this one Uh, Nota Crux is low. Okay, Vostok system. Okay, so we're doing this one, investigating the samples, and then we'll go to Nostok or whatever on this one. Uh, there we go. And Nota Crux. Okay. So where are we at now? Logs bench something, system, whatever. That would be a good place to start your investigation. Okay. M. Civilian structure, civilian structure, science facility, debris. Have I already? Have I already been here? Is this the one with the uh, the the bug I accidentally ran over? Because whenever they have the X's, it makes it look like I've already done the thing. Isn't there a key? Map. Point of interest. Oh, it's just a point of interest. Okay. 
It's just, I'm used to them being, having like an exclamation point or a question mark, but once I, like, I clear it, I get the X. There we go. Oh. I need to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Okay, now I curve this way. There we go. Okay, good, it straightened out. Oh, okay, so there's some enemies at the civilian structure. feeling about this. Oh, it's husks. Oh, I missed. They like went through them. The entire that colony must him. have been Shotguns out. Ooh, good job, Rex. Let him explode. All right, there's one on the stairs. I'm trying to like hit him with the splash damage. It's working. Ooh, someone got him. Oh, maybe there's like a fuel canister up there that just blew up. Sludge canister. The heck does that mean? Tornado and Reaper. Okay. Lancer, Kovalyov, and Volkov. That one seems new. Equipment. Um, Kovalyov. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 
type is it though, is a state-of-the-art heavy assault rifle. Its accuracy suffers slightly due to the larger size of the rounds when compared to other assault rifles of its class. A human corporation, Rosenkov Materials has forged a reputation as one of the premier armor manufacturers in Citadel space. How's this one work? Oh no, I'm stuck again. How did I do- oh, there we go. Yeah, they're automatic. The automatic ones don't like really- how am I supposed to get that? It's like they're very weak per shot. And you gotta put up more shots to equal the same damage as like a single shot. It just seems like the semi-automatic ones are what you gotta do. Okay. So, I guess that's it for this building. Karpov pistol, gladiator 9, medium armor, and assassin 10 armor for human. I got so much stuff. Cryo explosive 9. Alright, next building. We got two more. We got this uh, thing down there too. And an anomaly. I could have probably went for that. That would have probably been closer. So let's go up here. I don't see, oh, they're at the next structure. Entrance console? What is this? Oh, they already got the spikes. Okay. Seeing as they aren't outside, let's just say maybe there's a chance that there are people in here. I mean, the radar will let it, nope. <laughs> Guess not. Ooh. Oh no, they're moving. I think I got hit by Rex's thing. I haven't been needing to use Metagel because we haven't really been getting hit. And when we have, it's only like once, otherwise it gets healed up. Uh, a Breaker? Is that new? Breaker 9. Oh, I got Assassin 9 Light Armor. Um, the Stasis, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's there. Okay, uh, Breaker. What is this? It has even more damage than this. Battle rifle, high rate of fire, fires, and five round burst. I haven't used a burst fire since like the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, human controlled private company, Casa Fabrication, is known to make the finest body armor in the galaxy. When it comes to personal protection suits, no expense is spared. As reflected in the exorbitant cost of their products. Recently, Casa has also begun to manufacture Omni tools, though it will be some time until the quality is brought up to the high standards of their armor lines. So, I mean, I could try this one. 
The burst fire was really good too. Okay, armor, assassin 10. Oh, I got some explorer as well. Hmm. What does this look like? Okay. Uh, it's not as cool. All right, going back to the mercenary. Yeah. We got armor for you. Ooh, we got some mercenary armor for him. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> that looks way cooler. Predator L. Oh, yeah, we got Predator L. What is this? Oh. Eh. All right. Mercenary. Okay. So, what are we giving to you? Um, combat? Sure. No. Combat. Energized. Kinetic exoskeleton. We'll give you that. Ooh, what's your helmet look like? Okay, well, it's the exact same Turian helmet. The armor looks cool, though. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. So we either got explosive stuff left or we got some canisters to open. Oh, right here. We got a lot of stuff up here. Upgrade kit, polonium rounds, inferno rounds. I'm running out of room. 276. A Solaris amp, Savant 9. Biotic amp. Savant. I don't think that one was good though, was it? Oh, it definitely is. Solaris amp. Rex, what do we got on you? There you oh you already have a savant. Okay, you don't need that then. Oh, all three of these? Okay. Soklov, Lancer, and Raptor 9. Brawler, Hammer, and Avenger. It's a Raptor. I don't think I've used that before. Hey, Raptor is an advanced military grade assault rifle, so it's automatic. Okay, let's try this one out. So five round burst is what this one should be. Oh, geez. Hmm. We'll see how it performs in combat before I judge it. Okay. Scimitar, Thunder. Okay, nothing up here. Oh. Is this... No, because that's Geth stuff. I was wondering if this is what the research samples were for. But that's Geth. Thank you. 
Head on in. Alright, nothing in here. See a red dot in the radar, a couple of them now. Finally some action! <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. Bring it on. I wonder how well it'd do with the explosive rounds. Oh. <laughs> it's not gonna have like the boom sound that the shotgun has though. It's two shots and I'm out. It's because it's a burst fire. Yeah, okay, we're going back to Shredder. Something's about to explode to my left. Shredder, Shredder, where's the Shredder? I don't get why I only have one Shredder. Oh, I have two now. Okay, good. Secured. There's got to be some conclusion here. Either there's a person to talk to, or we just get one of the. Oh. I see it. Oh, it's a console. Okay, 286. I'm about to run out. I have 14 spaces left. Now 10. Oh, no. There's some more shredder rounds. Okay. A colonial pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. Download their logs. Journal's been updated. Okay. Um, I, I don't, well, where is it? I, I want to see the follow-up. Colony of the dead. Logs seem to indicate this colony was intentionally infected by Cerberus. Here we go. The inhabitants were innocent victims of the nefarious organization's experiments. Okay. I can just open and close it now. I mean, I don't know if using the the husks was the right move here like they've shown that there's another type of thing that's not the the husks themselves like the infected people and stuff or whatever they've shown those i think that would have made more sense if they used those because the husk i immediately think that's um geth 
and all these like spires and stuff. That's like all Geth stuff. Okay, so I gotta make it over there and then get that anomaly. Crashed probe. I'm on my way. Oh my goodness, it's all blocked on that one side. Not gonna work. Huh. 295 items. I'm gonna have 298 here. I right, gotta make sure to sell my stuff when I get on the ship. I have two slots left. Uh, anomaly there. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Please don't be up there. Oh, it is gonna be up there, isn't it? Okay, I, I can get over here. I can use this to get up. Good, I made it. That's another pyramid. I've reached 300 item limit in my inventory. I must salvage or sell one item before I can attain new ones. Um, light armor, Onyx Nine. Get rid of the striker. Okay. Oh no, there's another one. Okay. What's this onyx armor look like? It's not going to be cooler than the... Uh, oh, we've done this before, I think. It's not going to be cooler than the mercenary. Oh! It's the me armor. <laughs> huh. It's not good, though. Like, look at this. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I just get some extra tech and biotic protection, but I lose out on, like, 80 shields. I'm sticking with this. This looks way cooler. Alright, what about this thing behind me? Oh, it's just a satellite. Okay, so we gotta return to the ship.
that ah, wrong way. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Got the stuff again. Oh, they've got the... It's worth a million. Three seventy-eight. So it's four hundred, like the highest damage per second you can get in the game or something. They got the pistol down here as well. Light armor for Quarian. Okay, he's got the seven stuff again. All right, well, I'm going to sell stuff. I need to... Can't, like, mark stuff for um, junk, though. Okay. All right, now we're in the fours. Now we're in the sevens. Light armor for Quarry, and we haven't gotten any armor for Polly. Gotta hang on to that. I got a whole lot of these proton rounds. I don't need this many. A lot of these too. Oh, we got more light armor for the Quarian. So this is all the eight stuff. Man, I picked up so much stuff. Okay. So. Alright, I think we're good for now. Uh, I'm all maxed out on money, too, Looking I think supplies? I just saw. Yeah. Let's see what you've got. 
You bet, Commander. Yeah, I'm maxed out on money. Um, I'll I'll buy your stuff. I'll buy this. I'll buy this. And uh, I'll buy this. How about that? Okay, equipment. Crossfire. Yes. All right. Hmm. Oh, I can go to their lockers. I do want to talk to Rex and see about his, um, thing. See if he has anything to say about his armor. Oh, I never use her. She doesn't have anything. Oh my goodness. Okay, what kind of different armor do you get? So we got Phoenix. Okay. Liberator. Okay, we just had Phoenix and Liberator. Okay, well, I mean, she doesn't really, like, need any of this. We'll do this. All right, what do you guys say, Rex? You got anything? Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. He'll get us through, Shepard. You must have family other than your father. No. Now that I have my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. Okay. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right, so we're gonna go do the one last investigation thing from Pharos. Um, it's in the same system or the same cluster we're currently in. It's, uh... Oh, let's see. Investigate facility. Okay, Vostok system. We gotta go to Notocrux. Go upstairs. Okay. Get out of here. Vostok. And then Notocrux. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal. Oh. Hmm. Almost not quite. Thunderstorms are as common as on Earth, but the noted crux is thicker, oxygen-rich atmosphere. They are deafening and spark constant wildfires. Huh. Okay. Nice to see that they had scientists on two different, like, verdant planets. Bring you two. Never have these two paired together. Oh, already at the start. Okay, so where am I? That's to my left. 
Yep. Let's head over here, see what's going on. Thorian Creeper. Oh, see, now this one makes sense. They got Thorian research stuff going on here. That's what I that's what I was saying. They should have done these guys instead of the um instead of the uh, the husks. Okay. I don't think there's anything there. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, no, not anymore. Uh, can I exit the Mako? Why is that still stuck up there? Hardened crate. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna like... I gotta zoom in. Now! Oh. <laughs> Firestorm 9. Oh man. Okay. Oh, this one's way simpler. Barpov, Katana, Raptor. Okay, this one's like a medium. Razor, Thunder, and, a, and another Breaker. Okay. Was there anything else on the radar? Was there an ore deposit? Yep, ore deposit. not going to make it back out of this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how far down this is. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'd be better just returning to the ship and then going back to where uh, hopefully it spawns me back at the start. Heavy metal deposit of gold. Oh, I'm not. Oh my goodness. Where's the, the vehicle? Okay, let's return to the Normandy. <laughs> Alright, please don't put me back where I, you know, quit. I got used to double clicking when I was trying to equip the weapons and I kept doing it to them. Alright, 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 come on. Come on. It's looking good. Looking good. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> There's no way I was getting out of that. Um, anomaly. Let's go to the anomaly. Go, go, go. No! No, no! I'm losing it. Okay. Okay, just go around this way. Just go around. Just go around. Go around. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, okay. There we go.
It was like the same spot as one of the other planets. Kind of. Okay, Turian and Signa recovered. This escape pod is half buried in material that has washed down from the mountains. Though it has obviously been here for centuries, the computer still has power. Linking in with your hard suit, you recover a batch of files containing data on the Thracia colony. Okay. Go ahead and save. Next is the debris. Seems like it would be better to try and go back out rather than try and go up this mountain. Go back this way. Now we go down this way. Might need to go over there, I'm not sure. This looks nice. Like this picture here. Oh no, no, not again. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Where is it, anyways? All right, we got a little bit of ooh, a little bit of ways to go. <laughs> I don't think that helped me. <laughs> no, come on. Why does this map suck? <laughs> it's right there, it's right there. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm just gonna follow the green. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with the- Ah! Oh, it's all this. Oh, I thought they were containers. What is that? Hold on, I, I, I shouldn't be zoomed in because I don't want to accidentally like, you know, objects in mirror are closer than they appear kind of and accidentally hit it. What is this? They're like little fingers too. Ah! Ooh! Oh, almost had another accident again. <laughs> um. No! Stop! I can't move. All right, go, 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 go! Don't slide towards it. Oh my goodness! Oh man! <laughs> Cryo explosive and shield interface eight. Okay, so now we head. What is this destination? Looks like that's up the. Oh no! Why? This isn't like a mountain climbing vehicle. I'm thinking this left path is going to be the best way to get up there. I'll go left again. Ooh, ooh, don't do it. No, 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 no. Okay. Now we curve around here. Oh, this may not have actually been the right way to do it. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no. Alright, 
I'm trying to I'm trying not to fall too far I'm trying to over here there we go oh, just grab it just grab it it's right there just grab the green grab the green oh no <laughs> There we go. Alright. Oh, man. I'm saving. <laughs> I don't want something to have to, like, make me uh, go back through climbing that again. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like that one got it the worst. All right, let's go, guys. Okay. What? Where do you get the red rounds? What are the red rounds? What do you have? Oh, incendiary. Oh, that's a good idea. Here, you, you, I have Inferno. There you go. There you go. Ah, you're shooting me. Okay. Oh. Let's figure out what's going on here. So we got a distress beacon again. The past however many times I've been going to these distress beacons, it's been bad. This is a cool, like, little, uh, bar thing, but you don't have enough, like, overhead. Like, you wouldn't be able to reach upward without hitting anything. That doesn't look good. Oh, I see things on the map. Alright, let's move in, guys. Okay, these things are tougher. I'm gonna swap to the shot. Ah. Alright guys, let's fall back. Fall back. I actually shot my own teammate. Let's go back in here. Come on, Tolly. Tolly, Tolly, move back, move back. Oh, they can't even leave the room. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> If I'm too far back, they won't come any further, right? Yeah, if I'm like back here, they'll stop. Okay. Oh man. I am so weak to punches. Okay. I always want to explore the furthest away from the objective. Because I feel like if I go to the objective first, 
and then I come back, I feel like I'm backtracking. Especially since sometimes, in some games, when you get to the objective, you like, I don't know, leave the dungeon or something, right? Oops. Okay, Karpov Avenger Equalizer. Whoa, whoa, what is it? Ah. I didn't see what the equalizer was. Oh, it was a sniper. Okay. Alright, that's it. Oh. going on in here rescuers people oh thank see i told you somebody would come to investigate that signal my name is dr ross chief exogeny researcher at this facility we've been trapped in this room for days we're almost out of food and water you got here just in time i need to know what's going on why is this place crawling with thorian creepers how do you know about the thorian i know what exogeny was up to i saw what they let the thorian do to those colonists so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a she way sounds to like turn she has them a, into docile, like a Scottish accent. Servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Like, like it sounds like she has. A, like a, a Scottish accent and she's just in English and she's like cleared up the accent well enough but like one of the words she said I, I kind of heard it slip out why didn't you send a clear message asking for help all we had was that signal from the emergency beacon this is a closed communications base Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the Creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the Creepers here. Uh, how did you get the Creepers, though? Cause those are like, those are people turned into the creepers though i've heard all i need to look i know what we did here was wrong i'll admit that but it's over now there's no sense reporting that this to the authorities that doesn't right? sound like somebody who's remor remorseful yeah people lost their lives you were in charge of this project the safety of the staff was your responsibility they trusted you and you betrayed that trust be reasonable i didn't mean for this to happen Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. Okay. <laughs> the victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Open fire. Open fire! Uh, hit him with the, uh, where's your singularity? Throw it out there. Lift them all up. Yeah! <laughs> Exogeny's second-rate mercs proved no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here. Man, I wish I had picked, like, Area secured. you know, like, the, the adept adept whatever. I could have probably got Singularity. She was like such a good ability. I 
energized plating, incendiary, incendiary explosive. That's new. Not only is it explosive. Okay. So 410 centimeter, centimeter blast, heat generation, heat force, 24% damage. Incendiary. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Uh, come on. Wait, well, no, really, where is it? Wait a minute. Hold on. High explosives, inferno rounds. High explosive, inferno. Am I missing it? We We all saw that, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I just picked up incendiary explosive. What? Oh my goodness. Come on. Where did it go? Oh, it was a grenade, wasn't it? Oh. I should have looked to see it was a grenade mod. I thought it was like I was going to get some combination of the explosive rounds with... Uh, I thought it was a weapon ammo type. Dang it. Okay. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Combat optics, snow blind rounds. Feel so defeated. <laughs> All right, I don't think there's anything else. She could have lived, you know? At least, like, she could have lived. Though, you know, jail time, prison time, whatever. She's like, nah, I'm gonna die here. I don't think that's worth it, man. Oh, well, I don't feel bad. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. Nothing else here. Nope, we'll go ahead and head back to Normandy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Seems like next time we're going to head to Ilios or whatever. Right? Yep, I'm not getting any messages. So we'll head out here into space. And we'll go over to Ilios next. And that's, ooh, it's quite a, makes me go all the way around here. But yeah, we'll head over here in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.